everyone, welcome back to my channel. I look like, um, I have a naked face right now. I'm really cold. It's really cold in my room. But today I'll be sharing with you a getting ready video and I'm going to be like talking through it. So it'll be a super long video and I'm really excited because I like watching these. So yeah, let's get started. So I have already primed my face. I always prime my face twice. I know that's kind of weird. But um, I'm using the Mirabella primer and I usually like putting on my primer like right after my moisturizer and I like letting it like sit in my um, skin and then I apply like a little bit more because I just feel like oh my god it just makes my um, foundation go on a lot better and a lot smoother and stuff and I forgot what my brush is. Hold on. Um, so yeah. Oh my cat jumped on my man, how cute. So the uh, foundation that I've been using is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation. Um, I think it's a very good foundation. Kind of makes me a little bit orange. So um, I don't really like it that much, but it was very expensive. So I've been using it a lot. Um, yeah, so I just use like one pump. I use like a lot of like tiny pumps because sometimes I don't feel the need to wear whole pump on my face and I always have to blend it down my neck because it kind of like oxidizes throughout the day um like really badly I filmed this video when I first used the foundation and I said that I loved it a lot but in reality I really don't like it that much um yeah so I'm just using a, a fake beauty blender to like blend it through and it looks like it matches my skin perfectly but throughout the day I'm telling ya and so this is like a pretty full coverage foundation um depending on how many layers you do obviously you can build it up or you can like blend it to be pretty sheer um I obviously have like some breakouts and stuff like clearly but I don't really like to cover them completely just kind of a little bit so that they're not so like in your face and I like to like even out my skin tone so that's pretty much all I really use the foundation for um I don't really care that much about my breakouts because I'm human and it's not like some big secret that I have you know like not the best skin so I don't really worry that much about my acne like I really <laughs> really who cares um for my under eye concealer I actually really don't like this one because I feel like it kind of creases throughout the day but I've been using it regardless um it's the perfect match by Rimmel and I'm just applying that under my eyes and I really don't like the way this applicator is you have to squeeze it and I just do a very tiny bit because Again, I don't really like it that much. I just really don't like it. And I just use my beauty blender. This is like my holy grail product. And since I don't go to school and I usually work at like nighttime, I get enough sleep at night. Um, so my under eye circles like aren't terrible, but I just like brightening up my face because this is actually. Um, this doesn't oxidize, which is pretty cool, and I kind of want to get a foundation of this, but it's like the the way it goes on. I don't know. I feel it, it gets streaky if like you don't put it on properly. What the heck is happening? For powder, I like using my Dream Wonder powder. This is kind of like an everyday makeup routine. Um, I use my Morphe, 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 S19 brush. I got in a boxy charm box once. And I just, you know, apply a little bit. And I really just buff it. I don't like using lots of powder because, once again, I don't want to look cakey. But I just like, I need to set it. Because I have pretty oily skin. <sighs> yeah. 
uh, that's what I do. And then to make it look even less cakey, I take my beauty blender again, use this side, and I just kind of dab it to kind of like blend in the powder. And I enjoy doing this. I feel like it makes my powder set into my skin better and kind of removes the excess that I have on my face. Um, now I guess I will do my eyebrows. Um, first I'll put on a little bit of eyeshadow because I like a little bit of some, just like natural. Um, so I'm taking my Naked 2 palette that I usually always use, um, or I use my Revealed palette, but I, at the moment I literally don't know. Oh, I found it, but I don't want to use it right now. Um, I use this, these two shades. I use Foxy and Booty Call, so I kind of like mix them. Cause I, and then get off the excess and then just apply that all over my, literally just all over my eye to give me a little bit of something, but like, it's like natural, you feel, and I'm pretty sloppy with it, not gonna lie. I like patting it more than I like, you know, going like that, but like once I pat it on, I'll kind of rub it around, but I find that patting it applies it the best and I'll apply some on the bridge of my nose just because my eye hurts really bad. I have not been contouring recently just because I find that um like this foundation makes me look so orange throughout the day that if I put on um if I like contour it just completely ruins my whole face. So I've been just using a little bit of blush to um give me some dimension. I have like a fuzz in my eyeball. So I use my e.l.f. blush in the color Candid Coral. I really like corally colors. And I use my e.l.f. blush brush. So I just apply some on the corner and apply it kind of like where you'd apply bronzer. Like a little bit above. Like this, you can see where the hollow is. I put it like above, like so on my cheekbone. And I just use a little bit. And I don't know, in my head it gives me a difference. But I don't know if it really does. Just brings back a little bit of my color. You feel? Um, then, I don't know, I still feel like it looks super cakey. If I feel like my foundation over here, I have very large pores, like, in this general area. I'll take more of my, I use a lot of this, this is, like, my favorite stuff ever. Um, I'll take more of my primer, and I'll just smooth it over. I really like the way that the primer makes my skin look and then I'll take some like the excess of this and also bring back some of my natural color. I'm very odd today. I don't know what's happening right now. I'm going to move on now. Um, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the color Soft Brown. Um, it matches my eyebrows the best. I use, I just poke myself in the eye. I use this, this is super dirty, um, but it's just my little brush, and I brush out my eyebrows. Um, if I see any strays, I'll just pluck them out, because, yeah, so let's just do that. I literally pluck the strays out every single day, and like, once in a while, I'll take them, and I'll like, sit down and really do them and like trim them and like just absolutely go crazy with them but yeah i need this mirror closer to me i might be a little bit out of frame but yeah um the natural shape of my eyebrows my eyebrows are like pretty fine i just like darkening them because i do have like dark purple hair um So I, I just go with like the natural shape of my eyebrow and just fill them in. Nothing too big. Uh, this eyebrow is a lot thinner than this one, so I really need to like even them out. So 
Yeah, and I really like the dip brow because you literally need the tiniest bit. Like, I've had this for a very long time and you only need, like, um, a very, a very small amount. And I also like it because it kind of like, it's easy to blend oh, my nose itches. <laughs> um, yeah, those are my eyebrows. And then I'll take the little spoolie once again, comb them out to kind of blend it, I guess. So I use this first. I use my Kat Von D. Uh, tattoo liner and I just line both my eyelids I hope you can see this That's what I do, and then I'll just take on the other eye and line it. Oh god. So that's what I do. I line them with that. Um, actually, um, my Stila one has been giving me so many issues recently. Like, I've been struggling with my eyeliner. Um, but I take my Stila Stay All Day liner and I'll just like try doing my wings. Wings don't always come out good for me. Don't be, um, expecting perfect wings. I mean, it's a possibility that it'll happen. My wings will come out perfect, but there's also a very high chance that they will come out like complete padoodle. So, um, yeah, I just, I don't really have a technique. I just put a line and connect it and hope for the best. So, and then try matching the other eye and yeah that's literally what I do and then I connect it that is my wing and then I try doing the same thing on the other eye, which is always a struggle. And Today is one of those days where they come out perfect and I'm really happy about it because that means it's going to be a good day. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I do with my eyeliner. Um, now I will just, I don't know, I think they're even. I, they don't have to be like, like my ear reaches. They don't have to be completely perfect. I am pretty content with them at the moment. Um, I might like touch them up and ruin them in a second. Then I take my e.l.f. eyelash curler. I really like e.l.f. like tools. Um, like for my eyeshadow I used an e.l.f. No, this is not e.l.f. I don't know what this is to be honest, but I used that. That's just like a flat shader brush and I'll curl my eyelashes. I'll curl them like each a couple times just to like um, really have a strong curl because I don't wear um, like eyeshadow. So I like my liner and lashes to look nice. Okay. So I curl them each a couple times to really Really curl them. Then I take my L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. Um, and I will put it on. That's what I do. I put them on. Um, yeah, I get it all over my lids, but that's okay. I focus on the base, though.
And then I take my um, Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline and I'll just like apply a little bit more. And I actually didn't get much on my lids, which is um, a pretty rare thing. So I just do that. It's I feel like that just like accentuates them. Oh, oh, mm. And then I take my lash stiletto and I put that on my bottom lashes. Um, I like this the best for my bottom lashes because the other ones are very thick. This is just lengthening, so um, like it's a very, it's a good like mascara for your bottom lashes. It's not very thick, you know? So I do that, and that's pretty much it with my makeup. Um, sometimes I'll go ahead and line my lips. At the moment, I I guess I can. I If I ever do do my lips, I like a natural color. I don't really like lipstick anymore. Um, I will wear it sometimes, but only like the natural colors. I don't like bold lips anymore. Um, yeah, I just get too paranoid that it's like moving and or creasing so I use my NYX um, liner in peekaboo natural and I just literally line my lips That's pretty much my whole makeup routine, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, these are, see like my lips are like literally just my lips but better. They're really just my natural color. Um, and if I do wear lipstick, I'll wear um, this, I don't know, L'Oreal and Saucy Mauve. It's literally like the same thing, so it's just a little bit pinker. But, I don't know. Depends on my mood. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I, I'm going to go now. So yeah, I love you all and have an awesome day. Bye.